Welcome back. We've already talked about the different attack methods and their characteristics, but now throughout the next few videos I'll be demonstrating these attack methods so you can gain a better understanding of how attackers can conduct these attacks and how you as a security professional can safeguard against them. First let me explain what we're looking at here. This is called the Buggy Web Application or BWAP and this is a, a website that has been poorly configured. It is an unsecure website. There are multiple vulnerabilities that we will be exploiting using different attack methods. The first of which is HTML injection. So you see here there's a user input for username for first name and last name. And what we're going to do is we're going to type a bit of HTML code here that the website is going to read and execute as executable code, as actual code. This website does not validate user inputs, so it's going to read this input as code and the website's going to change accordingly. We're going to put a link on this website. So I'm going to start off by writing the code. H1, that just means I'm putting the text as header 1. href is just a HTML reference and I'm going to set that reference link as my website. Okay. Now I'm going to type the text that's going to appear. I'm just going to have it list as Cybercraft. And for the exam, you're not going to need to know how to do these types of attacks per se, but understanding how to do them is going to give you a better understanding of how to protect against them. And I think learning how to do the attacks is the best way to learn what they're about and how to protect a web application, how to secure a web application. So if you get, an, if you get a question asking you specifics about these different types of attacks, you're going to know all you need for the exam. All right, I don't need the last name, so I'm just going to put a dot. And I press go. And here we go. We have Cybercraft listed underneath the user input in header 1. And this is an active link, so if I click on this, open up in a new tab, it's going to attempt to open up my website, cybercrafttraining.com. Now, I don't have this virtual machine set up with network connectivity. But if I did, it would open up the website. And you can see how attackers could use this to maliciously put links to their own site or a site with a virus or anything they want, any type of site, through this type of injection attack. So in the next couple of videos, we'll be talking about different, other, different attacks, including other variations of the injection attack. But this right here is HTML injection. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.